Welcome back, travelers! We are back on Infinity Evolved. That is right, we are back! And we got some stuff done in the meantime. Now, I've been trying to be very careful about not doing too much, because I tend to do that, and I get like 400 things done, and then it's like, now I gotta play catch-up and kind of show you what's going on. So, I've, I basically just started doing a little bit of building. I started this bridge right here, which originally just started as ignore all of this, ignore all of that, ignore that. It was just this bridge. I got tired of literally having to swim across the water to come get like mobs and animals and stuff like that. So I wanted to create a little bit of bridge. And what's funny is I created the bridge and then I haven't done anything over here since then. But I, I it gave me an idea. This is so not a finished project, but our product, but it is an idea of what I want to do. I kind of like the concept of maybe building a house on stilts and building a base on stilts. And so that, as you see, I've got like, you know, just towers everywhere pillars up and you know making it look like it's kind of nice and brace and i'll do some decorative stuff eventually as a totally not a finished product but this is kind of what you know piqued my interest and i started thinking it might be a good idea now i did finally set up a tinker's construct area because you know it's it's inevitable you're going to eventually need it uh at least in the very very beginning and then i started a very small me system that you can see over here and then this guy let me let me tell you about this guy here all right, so I did a small ME system, and I was using a survivalist furnace, I think it is. It's the one where you throw coal in it, it gives you a little bit of power. But I didn't want to have to keep spending all my coal to power this thing, right? So then I was like, hmm, well, I can make a solar generator, right? Then I found these solar panels, and they were really cheap to make. They were really easy to make. So I was like, cool, I'll make a whole bunch, and I made like seven of them. And then I placed it on, and this is the energy acceptor here, by the way. I placed it on there, and it didn't work. And so then I was like, okay, I read. It says, oh, you need to connect them to low load power lines. So I made the low load power lines and connected it to this guy. And it didn't work. So I was like, okay, so they don't accept it. But I see this battery box here thing. And so I connected them to the battery box. And as you can see, the battery box is filling. So they are producing energy. And then I tried to connect that to here. And that didn't work. And then I'm starting to realize that this project read... Um, expansion stuff, whatever. It just doesn't want to incorporate with the other mods. Now it may, and there might be other ways to do it, but I can't figure it out. But I just kind of left it sitting here. Just like I kind of thought it looked cool. And eventually I will get use out of these. These are not going to go to waste, but I didn't have anything to do with them right now. So I just kind of left them set up. So then I made the solar generator and plugged this guy in. And so basically it just fills up whenever, you know, it's charging. And then all I got to do is change it from, you know, accepting to outputting. And then all of a sudden this gets power. Yay! And then when I don't need um, this to be on, I just turn it off and this starts charging back up again. And then, yeah. It, it, yeah, you guys you guys get it, right? It makes sense. Uh, this will save up energy and then anytime I need to use this, psh, click it on, bam, get into my system. Cool, right? All right, cool. So that's basically everything I've kind of done uh, in the meantime. I did, however, as you can see this little bridge over here, notice on the map and I've ran through it a couple times that there, there's this open little plains area right over here in the middle of the roofed forest right and I was like huh this is kind of a quaint little area kind of surrounded and I thought maybe this could kind of start being my Batania area so you see I've relocated my Batania stuff you can see the pure daisy right there in one of the chats and yeah so I thought hey this this could be a good place to go ahead and rock the uh the Batania over there. And I think we're going to come back there in a little bit. But today, I want to concentrate on something that's been an issue for me, which is getting enough resources and not having to mine out, you know, everything by hand. Uh, long story short is I'm tired of mining. And I know there's quarries out there. And I was thinking about doing the extra utils quarry. But the problem is I don't have enough resources uh, to make that one yet. Oh, by the way, I started a little animal farm. Just in that boop, little animal farm over there. Not a lot going on, but a couple animals. Uh, for the sake of, you know, needing leather and stuff like that or wool or whatever. And so, yeah, so I started mining out, as you can see here, and this is like directly under my house here. And the reason for this mine was because this is where I want to eventually move my applied energistics and make a pretty Emmy room. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, as I was mining, I was like, you know, I need a lot of resources and I don't want to have to do it by hand. I have like burnt out this Envar hammer. Uh, because that's not the only place I've used it. Uh, but I wanted to do something a little more um, productive, right? So then I noticed that there was another quarry in the game in Buildcraft. 
and to, why okay I was like why do you have power if that's still charging i don't know so i i made up a couple of the items and i want to test this out so we're gonna go try to set this guy up and since i've got the desert i don't mind destroying like the desert and what's this cobblestone transfer spike yep i see i already made all this stuff i i i planned ahead i don't do that very often but i did this time and then i made a pump here and i actually i need to make another pump uh but yeah i do need to make another pump can i make it right now i was after the fact i was thinking hmm, there's other stuff i need to make okay so wait what no iron hold on hold on this is what I was trying to avoid. I was trying to avoid nonsense. I had it all set up, but then I realized I need another pump. So, you know, stuff happens. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and smelt some more iron down. Yeah, I've only got three ingots. So we're gonna get some more iron there so I can make another pump because I, well, it'll, it'll all make sense when we get over there. I'm gonna need some buckets. Let me just do this at uh, build craft. There we go. I've got everything I need. You, 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 there we go. I don't need the gear, but I do, however, need to make, um, two combustion engines or sorry. Um, uh, what are they called? These guys. Uh, what is that? That's a creative one. This is an electric engine. Ooh, interesting. Forestry has ones. Ooh, I didn't even notice those, but I need to make these guys right here. So I'm going to need to make iron gears. Let me start by making two pistons. I don't have any iron. Jeez. Um, okay, so while the iron's smelting, I'm... You know what? You've probably already smelted, actually. Yes. So I'm going to fill you... I'm going to go sleep real quick so we don't have to deal with mobs. Okay. So once again, we're at Buildcraft. And I am making... A pump. Where are you at? Mining well. There's a, okay, a pump. So I need to make a gear. So let's do that. Cool. And then I should have everything else, right? No, I need to make another tank. Okay. And I think I should have more glass. No, I burnt all my glass up. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. So pump, it is. Bingo, bango, got you now, right? All right, so I got a second pump there. Um, Fluid is going to transport from that into, okay, I need another fluid. So I need, that's why I had this over here. Okay, I'm re I'm remembering what my plans were here. I had this over here because I was making cactus green because cactus green is what you use to make the sealant. So I can turn these into uh, fluid pipes. Easy peasy. And I think I only need one more. I'm going to need one. That goes, um, no, I'm going to need a couple. Okay. So let me grab some cobble. Well, I don't need to grab cobble. I just need to hurry up and yeah, I need to start making like an alloy furnace or not alloy furnace, alloy smelter or a furnace or something like that to speed this process up because it's going to start taking too long. But anyways, I need pipe sealant because I'm going to take that and make these like that. And okay. So Basically, one pump is going to be putting water into uh, the engine, which is what I was making. And uh, uh, there we go. Really? No more iron again? Jeez. Oh, 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 oh. I, I thought I started you. Didn't I? Oh, no. The block of iron was right there. All right, cool. Well, we'll grab both of these. That way I know I have enough to make both of them. Because I need an engine. Oh, I'm going to need two engines. I'm going to need one. Well, no, I'll just do it with, uh, we'll do them close together. That's what we'll do. Cause I'm not going to have the resources to make two engines right now. All right. So engine, this is when Emmy really comes in helpful a little later down the road. So one, two, and then a piston. And then I should be able to make you, there we go. And let me get a couple levers. I've got one. Let me make another. Um, we'll make a couple just in case. All right, so I think I've got everything I need. I think I think I have everything I need. We'll see. I'm gonna eventually, you know, master this build. But until then, whew, okay. Hopefully we get this done. Where's the sun? Okay, I still got some time. 
All right, so there's an oil uh, like reservoir right over here. And so that's why I think I'm going to need more pipes. But for right now, hopefully I can kind of get by with it and uh, keep it really, really condensed. Because, well, yeah, you'll, you'll see. The The oil's not too far. Actually, there it is. It's on the map. I can see it. Ah! Oh! Dang, this freaking quicksand. Ugh. Oh. If there's quicksand, I'm going to run into it. Like, there's just no two ways about it. I just, every time, every time I run into quicksand. But I have to patch that up. Okay. All right, so we've got oil over here. And there's got to be a place where I can just put the pump and get this going. Um, the quarry can go out this direction, right? Okay. So we're going to put one pump right here. And there should be a little nozzle or something that drops down. If it detects, I'm not 100% sure how this thing works. I see a splash of sorts. I don't know. Is it working? I don't know. This is all new to me. This is all very, very new to me. So, uh, wooden transport pipe. So we're going to put you there, right? And then that is going to go into the refinery. Okay. So we're going to put the refinery right there, right? Okay. And then this one is going to output into, well, it's going to output into two things. Um, so can I connect? No, I need to make like other ones. Okay. Well, I can connect out two sides. That's fine. So that's going to connect into this guy. The, Cause the fuel's going to go into this guy. That's basically what I'm going for. No, that's not the way I want you to go. You're, you're facing the wrong direction. Turn around. All right. Cause the quarry, the quarry right here is going to go right. Well, actually, Oh, I can just pump you right into the quarry. Boom. No, no, I can't. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? The quarry is going to go right here. That's a pump. I, I, I promise I had, I had this planned. All right, cool. So there's the quarry. And then really, can I, can I get you to go the right way, please? Like that? Why? Why do you want to be such a hassle? Why do you want to be such a hassle? Okay. Like that? There we go. Okay. Maybe it's because I was holding shift. I don't know. Flu pipe there. Okay. Now this is going to actually um, do this. Can you, do you connect like this? You do connect like that. Okay, cool. And then cobble or wooden. No, not wooden. I need the cobble one. Oh, they're right there. I need you to do that. Right? I don't, I don't know. You go like that. Hold on. Oh, that's a fluid pipe. I, I need the wooden. I need you. There we go. I don't know if you're getting power or not, but I think you should be. Okay. And let's see if I can do this right. This should just get a redstone signal here, right? Or do you, do you have to have this guy? See, I'm learning here. I'm not acting like a subject matter expert whatsoever here. You're going to need this. You're going to need this. I can put a lever there to activate you guys. Right? Right? And then you should start activating those. What about you? Do you need one of these two? Do you need one too? Or do you need power? I think you just need this thing. I don't, I'm not a hundred percent sure. They, I've made this happen before. Uh, when I was testing it out, I got it to work because this is going to be producing power to go to there, which is going to fuel into there that, yeah, this is cyclical here. This is, this is exactly how I wanted it to be. Okay. Okay. You're green now. So you are doing what, ah, there we go. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Now this one, I can start it off with a bucket of oil like this and at least get power going to it. 
right? And hold on. Do I need I need another lever? Okay. And that will get you going, right? So now you'll start pumping. Hey, where'd the oil go? I put oil in there, didn't I? Well, those are going really, really fast. This, <laughs> this is gonna be a bit confusing for a minute. Okay, so let us put the wood pipe right there, okay? And we'll put you like that. There we go. And then the cobble pipes will come around like that. Okay, so now that's gonna produce power there. And then this, now if I put the, not the pump, if I put the quarry right here, you don't connect, but do you? Okay, you do. So let's do that. Okay, so now the quarry has power, except this is the pump again. Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. So now you're getting power. You're, you're doing that, you're doing that. Now, if I put the oil in this thing, this should start getting power. There we go. All right, oh, oh, it's doing stuff. It's doing stuff. Except I just realized I forgot something major and that is a chest to collect items. But okay, so this should be getting power, which is gonna produce fuel and the fuel's gonna pump into here. This is like a cyclical relationship here. Okay, okay, this is good. Um, now, I might need an extra thing. I don't know, this looks good to me though. This looks really, really good. This is gonna continue to pump oil. This is gonna refine it into fuel. The fuel's gonna go in here which will continue to power this thing. And then it'll power the quarry and the quarry starts doing its thing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run back to the house and I'm gonna sleep and I'm gonna get some chest and then this this should be good. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I've got what I need. I'm trying to pick up all these boxes. Let me put the chest down first because I think I can create a pretty large chest system here. If I do this, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. How many of those do I have? All right, so this is just gonna be a big chest system right here. And then this first chest, everything should be going into. Yes, it is. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Then what I need to do is do, no, I need a wooden transport pipe like this. And then I can do these cobble ones and it should fill all those chests, right? And then a lever right here, right? Is that what it needs? Does it need a lever or does it need one of these guys? I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if this guy is actually needed here. Um, let me see if I can find a way to safely pick him up without losing him because that oil is so dangerous. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I don't actually think this guy's needed. <gasps> no! Oh, I'm so gonna drown if I do this. I'm so gonna drown if I do this. Um, hold on. Let me, can I put dirt here? I'm like burning up oil to do this, but. Where did that stupid thing go? Okay, that's my problem is I can't jump now. <sighs> oh no, 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 no. Um, shoot. Oh, check, duh, I can just do that. Man, I lost that one redstone guy because I think I need that to make this thing work. I think. Well, let's see if this guy's mandatory. Are you mandatory? That's that's how those work, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I've got it on me, I got it. Ooh, I didn't realize I picked it up, okay, cool. All right, so you have power, oh, but you're not doing anything, because, okay, okay, okay. And then you get power there. This is kind of clumsy, but it's a good way to start. Okay, cool, 
So yeah, so then you start going up, and I think it's just kind of random. Like it might go there, it might go straight, you know, whatever. But you're going to start, okay, you're going to be productive. Okay, this is awesome. Now, the other thing I wanted to do is I got a tank, and I'm going to be making some more. Um, but that way, some will go in here, some will go in there, and then I'll get a backlog, so I'll have some fuel if I need uh, fuel for other purposes. So I think this is... This is a good little system here. It's not It's not gonna be fast, it's not really powerful. Um, oh, the water, yes. I need to make sure that, oh, it's already over 100 degrees. This, this is, this is, okay. This could be detrimental. <laughs> okay, because I needed to create a, this is what I needed the other pump for, right? So, yeah, I can do you here. That's why I grabbed the buckets, because I'm going to do an infinite spring right there. I got some water right over here, because I needed to make sure that thing doesn't overheat, and then that way I can pump water into it continuously as well, and we'll be doing good things. Okay, so let me just get a whole bunch of water. Yeah, that was already at 150 degrees. That's not good. It's like 200 or something like that. It blows or 250. I'm not sure. I was reading a little bit about that, but I thought, hey, you know, I'm going to be safe about it, so it's okay. I don't have to worry. I was wrong. Okay. So now the other pump is going to go right here, right? And this guy, wooded fluid pipe, is going to go from here. And then when transport wood fluid. Um, oh, I need more fluid pipes. That's okay. I can get that done. I can get that done. You're going into this guy, right? Yeah. Okay, you're not hot anymore, right? Now, see, so now you're back at 20 degrees. We're doing good things there. Oh, I need like another primer. Um, how much is in here? Oh, just like a little tiny bit. And I don't have a hammer yet to like change directions and stuff. So, can I just, does that lose your contents? I think it does. Yes, it does, darn it. Okay, I'm going to get this figured out, exactly how I want to do this. Okay, so I need the water to pump in there. All right, so what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go make a couple more fluid pipes. Um, and so I can pump the water in here and then also a couple more tanks. So we'll be back. All right, travelers, so we are back and it is up and running. And we had to make a few modifications to make everything run smoothly, but it is all going good now. So these guys are pumping the oil and the fuel is going into here. And as you can see, if I can't right click with something in my hand, uh, you can see the fuel is actually now getting backlogged, which is awesome. Like we're actually getting more. Now you see my temperature is going down. It got pretty high and it was because one of these was not producing enough water. So I had to go make another pump and kind of run the water around and uh, get that to produce water as well. And I, I might've been able to run it straight across, but it looked really weird and it didn't seem like the water was going in. So I, this might just be really redundant looking and I could probably do this with a lot less pipes, but whatever, it's, it's, this is like testing right now. And then you can also see that I expanded the quarry because why do a little circle when I can do a big circle? Apparently you can do like 64 by 64, so like four chunks by four chunks. That would be a lot. All you do is throw these little landmarks down and basically set your corners and then, yeah, and then it creates it. So awesome, awesome, awesome. This is up and running. And as you can see, the chests are just randomly filling. And apparently if mobs die, uh, quicksand, yeah, get rid of that stuff. Uh, then you'll get the mob drops as well too, which is kind of cool. But I haven't got anything worthwhile because there's like a lot of layers of sand and stuff like that. So we'll have to come and check back on this later. But at least the quarry is up and running. And I'm wondering, if, will this thing hurt me? Like if I'm standing by it? No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, because it's like right on the block. Oh, 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 quicksand, get out of there. All right, so, oh. Oh, that was cactus. I was like, maybe it does hurt. But anyways, so the quarry is up and running and we're going to let that do its thing. And then, 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 then we are going to go take a look at some Batania because I have uh, kind of started on it, but haven't done a lot on it. And I want to start getting some mana generating flowers. And so I think that's what we're going to do to finish up today. And there's a cool little pouch that I want to make that I was reading about in the book. And so it's like a flower pouch or something like that. And I want to be able to do that and also fix my, as I've fallen into it and fix my bridge here. So I don't fall into it 
that'll be something not we're going to do right now, but something I need to do. I'm just thinking about it as I'm running. Okay. So we're going to come over here and I need to get some shears because, well, I don't know how much wool I have. So start. Okay, cool. So I'm going to need a flower pouch. Yes, there it is. Okay. So we've got the flower pouch here, which actually seems, ha, ah, got it. So now all I got to do is grab all these flowers. There we go. And then if I throw them on the ground, like so, apparently the pouch picks them up. I see you hear I can you're hearing I'm picking them up, but they're not coming back into my inventory. That's because they're in here. And you can hold up to like a stack of each individual kind of flower. That's freaking awesome. That's awesome. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and grab you and you and you. That's a sunflower. That's bottom's plenty. Okay, cool. So then it's just quicker to drop these. And wait, why are you not going in there? Now, why are you doing this? Why are you doing funny stuff? Oh, because the pouch is in my hand. That's what I, if the pouch is in your hand, then you won't pick them up. I did remember reading that. I mean, which, which is cool because if you're dropping them so you can put them in your inventory, then you obviously don't want that to happen. All right. And that's awesome. Okay. I'm going to dump off all this stuff because I don't need any of it right now. Oh, no, no, no. I want you. I just made you for a reason. Oh, and then I, oh, man. Okay. I want the pouch and then I want these back too. All of you. Because the next thing I need to make is a bowl and pistol. What do they call it? Bowl and what? Oh, bowl. Oh, what do you call it? A bowl of water? A bowl of rice? Um, pestle? Is it pestle? That's that's the guy right there, Batania. Pestle and mortar. Okay. So let's go ahead and make that. Oh, I need to make the bowl. Okay, cool. Bowl and pestle. Bingo, bango. We've got that because I need to make some of uh, this stuff. I need to make some of this and some of this and some of this and some of this. And the reason I need this is because I need to make... Um, Actually, let me go ahead and grab a whole bunch of these. I've got the most of those and those and way a lot of those. Okay, cool. The The reason I need this is because I need, I need to make uh, some flower. Um, oh, what's it called? You know that stuff? That stuff with the flowers? Uh, flower fertilizer, floral fertilizer. And so it takes, uh, basically dyes for the most part, but these work as dyes. So, and then I also need some bone meal. Yep. Like that. And then like this. Okay. There's 15. There's that. I'm just making a whole bunch because the reason is I ran out of, um, resources the other day and I needed a whole bunch more. Uh, I didn't have enough yellow. Actually, I didn't like, have any yellow. And so I need some yellow flowers to make some of the day blooms. And that's what we're gonna go do right now. We're gonna set up a couple day blooms and maybe a couple nightshades. I forget the recipes, you know, off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure we can do it. And you know what, um, is my wand in here? Did it, please tell me I put my wand in here. I've been trying to get organized. I made a couple of, yes, okay, cool. I've been trying to make some useful stuff and let's grab this guy because I need to remember the recipes. Okay, so generating flora. Um, day bloom is two light blue, yellow and orange, okay? But I don't have any yellow. And then night blooms or nightshades are two black, a gray and a purple. So basically I need to make a whole bunch of flowers. So let's do this. And hopefully I will get what I need to make as many as possible. 
right? Okay, maybe if I just do this, there we go. Let's do it all at once. Okay, that's a lot of flowers. I see some yellows, which is good, because we're gonna need those. And I'm gonna need blacks, and I just knocked out my pure daisy. Didn't mean to do that, but it's okay, I can replant that. Now we should have a lot of versatility. And look at, they're all going to the flower bag, so it's not even filling my inventory. That is perfect. That is so perfect. Let's go ahead and just make the last bit here. All right. This is so nice not to clutter up your inventory. I love that little pouch. I'm so glad I actually read reading. It, it teaches you stuff. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and I think I should have some seeds in here. No, I don't have any seeds. I'm going to go grab some seeds. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I got my seeds. That was a long run. Okay. Um, so what I need is I need to bust out these flowers. Let me go ahead and just throw these up here for right now. Just to kind of clear out my inventory. Yeah, I shouldn't even have you. Don't need the bone meal right now. I don't need the dirt. Just, just want my inventory to be less, less crowded. Okay. So what we need is... Wait, wrong one. What we need is, it's gonna be two yellows, uh, one light blue and one orange. So, oh. <laughs> okay. Um, there we go. Okay, so that's enough for two day blooms. That is three, four. Okay, we'll put you there. All right, so that's three. And that's three. And then nightshades. Come on, get it back in there. Okay. Nightshades, it was uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then it was gray. No, that's light gray. Gray, one, two, three. And purple. Purple, purple. One, two, three. This should give us enough to make a couple, is basically what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to make a couple of these. Right? Okay, cool. So. Let's go ahead and break these all down to their petal components, like so. And I know a cool thing that they added was um, like, okay, so two of those, one of those, and one of those. And then throw in some seeds and bingo bango. And then if you right click with an empty hand, it auto fills the same recipe. So then I can just keep doing that over and over again. And that's really nice. So let's go ahead and throw that in there and then bink, bink, and then right click and bink. Oh yeah, this is, this is working. Um, yes. I like when stuff runs smoothly for once. This is, this is, this is what I'm talking about right here. Hey, no. Oh, on the seeds were already kind of there. Okay, cool. Um, so, okay, so I can't make any more of those. So now it's bink, 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 and bink, and then the seeds. I threw two orange, and it's not supposed to be orange. Um, okay, yeah, it's bink, 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 and bink with a seed. There we go, and you go there, and like so. Oh yeah, this is efficient. Okay, this this I like. This I like. It wasn't like this the first time I did this and uh, it took a while. So I kind of like the speed at doing this because this autofill makes it really quick. And I just keep freaking, like I don't even have to do anything, but okay, cool. So I've got six day blooms and if I remember correctly, they can't be next to each other or they lose potency. And then these should work over here. Let me, I've got some dirt. Let me just add a little edge here because I want to be able to put them there. There we go. One there and then I can put one there. And then the nightshades can go like this and they can interact with each other like no problem. And then if I grab my wand, as you can see, I've got a little bit of mana, right? 
and then um, you're bound. Okay, you're all bound. Okay, cool. So they're all bound to the spreader. Spreaders get in a decent amount of mana. So this is the start. This Batania. We're, we're ready to rock and roll, Batania. We are ready to rock and roll. This little flower bag, though, I am loving this little flower bag, this little flower pouch, because that means I can just go crazy and just go get these flowers whenever I want, which is funny that I never even got the Batania flowers in the area that I designated for Batania. <laughs> kind of funny. But anyways, guys, I hope you're enjoying. I uh, hope this is a series that you guys want to see more of. And if it is, don't hesitate to hit that like button. And if you're brand new to the channel and you want to see more uh, material like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you, that way you get updated and you know when I'm producing new videos. I'm going to be trying to do them at least every two days for right now. I don't have the the time to be doing like, you know, dailies right now. I'm, I'm going to try, but I'm, I'm saying every other day, it's just a more reasonable um, uh, quest, I guess a more reasonable objective. Like I, I can get every other video or, you know, a video out every other day and really start, you know, getting going on this. But I am really, really excited because there's so many new things to test and there's so many old mods that I haven't messed with in a while. Like Blood Magic, I'm really excited to get back into. But I've, I've got to lay the groundwork for a lot of stuff. That's why I concentrated on the quarry today because that quarry is going to get me the materials that I'm going to need so I can start doing more and all that fun stuff. So, until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I am Slider Havoc, and I am out of here. Peace.